Hey everybody, it's Rob here with the Big Red Team. I'm here with Angie and we're here with Haley at the Village House Coffee in Georgetown, Indiana today. We're going to ask Haley about the business and she's going to give us some information that we can hopefully share with you and you're going to want to come down and visit the Village House Coffee here in Georgetown on Highway 64. So Haley, tell us about the business here. How long have you been open? Yeah, so we've been around for about seven years. It'll be eight years this December. Um, we actually were started um, by the company next door, the roofing company, um, and they ended up buying the whole building, and they kind of are just coffee connoisseurs, and, you know, they kind of hated going to different coffee shops, and they're really particular how they liked it, and they're, they're like, what are we going to do? Um, so they decided, let's put a coffee shop next door, and that's something that Georgetown doesn't have, and thankfully over the past um, seven years, like, Georgetown's really responded, and like, we've been growing every year. All I heard a while ago was talking about different events that you have on a monthly basis, and yeah. I heard something about wine, so I want more details about that. Yeah, so um, we're always a coffee shop, first and foremost, but we've locally, uh, we've recently got our liquor license, so we are featuring uh, wine events every month, so usually at the end of the month we'll post our social media page. Um, we're trying to feature a local winery, we also do craft cocktails, um, and each each month is going to be a little different, kind of with the seasons, like, um, like a lemonade vodka spritz, or like a coffee, Irish coffees and stuff like that. So we really want like a relaxed atmosphere where you can, you and your friends can come out and if some of your friends just want to drink a latte and you want to drink a glass of wine, you can hang out, play board games and just enjoy Yeah, the so night. there's lots of space here, which we'll show that here um, lately. But yeah, so I know you said you local wineries like Total Turtle Run and then what's coming the month of May? Yeah, in May we're going to have Monkey Hollow. They're a winery from Bird's Eye, Indiana. Super awesome. Thinking about everything has a specialty or a, a claim to fame. So, what's your all specialties and things? Um, what kind of makes you stand out from the others? Yeah. So, our specialties are definitely lattes. We can do them hot, iced, or blended. But we definitely have the most flavors offered of lattes in this area. We have over a hundred like mixed flavors. Um, we have anything range from like a, a cotton candy or a Captain Crunch flavor, or just like your regular plain Jane vanillas or mochas. But definitely one of our most popular year-round specialty flavors is called the English Mustache. It's dark chocolate, caramel, and toffee nut. So it's, it goes really good with coffee. And it's really good hot or iced or blended. Of course, as always, everybody loves about the pumpkin spice. So I'm sure you've got that. That is actually, that's actually our like one flavor we don't offer year-round. Because okay. it's so special. Like We do have we, to the seasonal. We make it in-house. So it's not just like a something we buy and we can mix around with. And, I think everyone it gets a little burnout. Yeah, they do. They do. It's a good little specialty for a short period of time. But yeah. on. So and then um, so any other specials are like the popular drink that is it the lattes because of your flavors? Yeah, definitely just our lattes. Um, we do anything from cold brew to americanos. We have lemonades in the summer that are really popular, like mango strawberry lemonades. Um, we do like these frozen hot chocolates that are really like kids come from after school and they get almost like a milkshake, but it's it's like a frozen hot chocolate. Yeah, and I have to try that.
I am yeah. Bobby Gertzman. I'm the director of operations for the Big Red team. And I, um, my job is to taste the product and make sure that it's good. So I got a coconut latte that's blended. Um, so. Yes. This is where it's at. Can I get one? You guys gotta come down here, get one of these. It'll make your day. Tell me about some of the food that you have here as well. Yeah, so we're not a full restaurant, but we definitely cater to people on the go. Um, so we do, we have a whole bunch of muffins, we have danishes, bagels, um, we do have paninis. We have like hot bacon, egg and cheese, or ham, egg and cheese paninis, and then also like oatmeals and granola bars. Definitely, we have stuff you can eat while on the go, awesome. and you can hang out here. And what hours are you open? Yeah, we're open from uh, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day except for Saturday. We are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then we are closed on Sundays. Yeah, I noticed that you have this just really comfortable setting here and you have a room in the back as well that people reserve for like Bible studies and things. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so for the most part you can come in here and hang out wherever you want, but we do have a board in the back where we have a, a little room where if you want to have a little meeting or a little more private like Bible study or group session, you can reserve for free as long as you let us know, we'll put your name and your time of day. Um, we've had people conduct interviews in the back and it's kind of a, just a nice little spot to relax with your friends. Haley, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us about your business today. Yes. Um, listen, guys, come out and join us here at the Village House Coffee on State Road 64 in Georgetown. We're just uh, a smidge down from the drive-in uh, movie theater. Y'all know where that is. We're right across the street from HYR Baseball Park, so you know where that is as well. So come out and join us here at the Village House Coffee and see Haley and have her make you one of her specialty lattes.